Do you lose your place in your data every time you look up from your screen? Do endless rows of data make it hard to focus? If so, we've got you covered. In today's video, we'll show you how to highlight the active row, column, cell, and more so that you never lose your place again. Let's get started. For example, here we have a large data set that we are analyzing and we want to highlight the active row so that we don't lose our place when scrolling throughout the data table. To do this, first things first, we need to add a conditional formatting rule to the data table to highlight the row that the active cell is in. Press Ctrl A to select the entire data table, open the conditional formatting dropdown on the Home tab, select New Rule, and then choose Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Now we just need to enter the row function and set that equal to the cell function with row and double quotes as the info type argument. This checks to see if the row in our table is equal to the row of the active cell, so Excel knows to highlight these values. Last but not least, we need to add the highlight color as the formatting by pressing the format button and choosing a yellow highlight color. Press OK to save the rule, and as you can see, this highlighted the entire row within the data that the active cell is in. This is looking pretty good, but when we move the active cell, our conditional formatting is not updating. This is because our formula needs to be recalculated in order for the highlight to update, but hitting the recalculate button on the formula tab every time we move the active cell is a huge waste of time. Luckily, we can use VBA to recalculate the values automatically. All we need to do is open this worksheet's VBA code by right-clicking the worksheet, clicking View Code, and then selecting Worksheet from the dropdown. Now all we have to do is enter the code target.calculate to recalculate the specific range of cells that were modified. Now just exit out of the code and navigate back to our worksheet, and as you can see, our conditional formatting is working perfectly now. Next, let's say we want to take this to the next step and highlight the active column too. Not a problem, all we have to do is add a new conditional formatting rule to highlight the column the active cell is in by selecting the data, opening the conditional formatting dropdown on the Home tab, selecting New Rule, and choosing Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Now this time, enter the same function, but check to see if the columns match. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the column function and set it equal to the cell function with column double quotes as the info type argument. Last but not least, let's add the formatting by clicking the Format button and selecting the yellow highlight. Press OK to save the role, and now the active row and column are automatically highlighted in our data table. Last but not least, let's say we are getting really tired of looking at the highlighted rows and columns and want to highlight just the active cell instead. Not a problem, first I'm going to quickly delete the conditional formatting rules we already created by opening the conditional formatting dropdown on the Home tab, selecting Manage Rules, and then deleting each rule for a clean slate. Now we just need to create a new rule that highlights the active cell by selecting the data, opening the conditional formatting dropdown again, selecting new rule, and choosing Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. This time we need to write a formula that checks to see if the cell address in the data table is equal to the active cell address. To do this, enter the cell function with address in double quotes as the info type argument and the first cell in our data table as the reference argument to return the cell address of the cell in our data table. Now we just need to set this equal to the cell address of the active cell by setting this equal to the cell function with address in double quotes as the info type argument. Now all we have to do is set the formatting by pressing the format button, selecting the yellow color, and hitting OK. As you can see, now just the active cell is highlighted so that we never lose our place in our data table again. One really important thing to note is that these new conditional formatting rules are working because we already entered the VBA code in the worksheets module. Do not forget to do this or else your conditional formatting rules will not work. Now you have no more excuses for losing focus when working in Excel. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more Excel tips and tricks.